Hey guys, this is Zone Productions, so okay, and then the Force is here free, and I'm back in Ascension or Ascension. I'll just call it Ascension, okay? Hi, free! Yay! Um, yes, we're just gonna back continue. We aren't exactly schoolers. I'm sorry, Tilly, right? And Sander. Hello, Sander. The coven's are drawing, Till. I know. I told you. So, your sleeping friend here, she flew, you say? You said, yes, and her eyes were glowing, too. Then the ground started shaking. And the secret entrance opened. So what happened to the gem at the, at the statue? I don't know, they just vanished. Why are you here anyways? Steph. Why are you here? Steph. You, you idiot! Maybe I shouldn't have woken up. What were you thinking touching that thing? I kind of want to blame her. I'm sorry, many things. I'm sorry, Sky. I never wanted to scare you. I was so worried. You suddenly passed out, all cold and, cold and shaking in fear. You would have died. If Tilly and Santa weren't here, you would have died. Oh, thank you for, you know, saving my life. Don't worry about it. But you're all right. Santa said you probably had a terrible nightmare. Yeah, it was about the day we first met. Scan knew the look on Ida's face. She didn't want to talk about it. She never wanted to talk about that day they met. Finding her covered in blood with deadly wounds. If her father wasn't a very ta talented medic, she would have died. Well then, shall we go till? Uh, why are you staring at me? Why is she staring at me? It's the hair, isn't it? He looked like a noble. Ida was surprised. Almost everybody was surprised. Almost everybody she met probably thought the same thing, but never brave enough to ask about it. She did look like a noble with her silver hair after all, but not even Sky had ever talked about it. Well, I am not. Half noble? But that doesn't make any sense. There are aren't known to have hu there aren't known to have human partners. I don't know. Sorry. I never knew my parents. Hey, uh, Tilly, not to interrupt or anything, but it might be a good idea not to put piss off a race that is really unknown to be a cold blood cold blooded killer. Just saying. That's weird. You may look like a noble, but you don't feel like one. I thank you. So can we go now? You saved your life. At least tell us why you were here. Here we go. Fair enough. We were looking for a map. To the old kingdom, I assume. What would you be looking for? For a place that doesn't even exist. Sky here thinks it, it exists. I'm just here for fun and for occasional life-threatening situations. You are standing on it. On what? The map. When Ida looked down, she could barely see the drawn map all over the floor. It's so va vague. Uh, if Tilly didn't mention it, it could easily be overlooked as a texture on the stone floor. For the old kings. Well, that doesn't look very portable. So, why are you here? Research. You know us giraffes aren't exactly known for our talent in arcane arts. I actually didn't know that. Yes, this. Uh, but this is a dwarven temple. The structure is the stone used in the building. And... And how did you enter the hidden tunnel? Well, first there was this huge quake, and I then I flew a little. And then you flew a little. It was the magical jewel. Think about it. What it, What was a magical jewel doing in an old dwarven temple? And the villain, nonetheless. I know I can't answer these questions. Nobody can, except the old kingdom itself, so we are now looking for the same thing. So wait, how come nobody ever opened this tunnel before? The jewel must have been some kind of lock. 
Then how come when I removed it, it the hidden interest opened? Ugh. Sorry, something about you must have triggered the magic in the jewel. I'm wondering about that myself. I thought maybe you being a noble had something to do with it. They say the nobles originally come from Oak, the Oak Kingdom itself. That's why they were called nobles. But if they were used to be noble families, and if they all used to be noble families in the Oak Kingdom. Right, so according to the legends, it's a city built by humans, dwarves, elves, and elves together. And, and was very advanced in their arcane bounds. Even mages were common back then. Right, thank you for the history lessons, that was very kind of you. All I'm saying is, since we're looking for the same place, we should team up! What? What? We can find our next target in my mother's journals! Let's go to the our camp and rest, we can leave for the valley in the morning! I guess we won't have a say in this. Nope. Well, great! Actually, I don't mind teaming up with the Dwarf and the Sander. Tilly and Sander, that's their names, isn't it? But I seriously want to get away from Sky. She annoys me. <laughs> oh, there's something here. Money! So you just have to cut a slight piece from the tip and it, of its tail. Uh, the other alchemist I've known is my father. The only alchemist I've ever known is my father, and he never tells me anything about poisonous arrows. Right, it can be dangerous, though. If you don't know how to handle the poison, it can paralyze you for days. Well, at least Sky looks pretty interested. Are you okay? You look a bit pain. You were in that ni nightmare for a while. Friendly dude! I like you! Yeah, flying and then falling into a nightmare trap wasn't exactly entertaining. And I'm hungry. Did, did you just smile? Look at that! I didn't know you Mooney's kid smile. Normally, we rarely ever do, but I am a, a mage. So mages, I don't know all these words. <laughs> so mages are what constantly smile, are what? Uh, constantly smiling optimistic people? Magus have ten times stronger emotions than any without magic. How come you don't know about this? It's common knowledge. I wasn't taught much. You know, the whole hiding from constantly being hunted down part doesn't exactly let you sit and learn anything other than survival. Ah, uh, I see. Well, there's not much to learn. I am like any other moon now. Well, plus extracted emotions and magic. Forgive me for saying that, but you don't look very emotional. I mean, you have always the same face. Forgive me for always having the same face. <laughs> no, I mean the whole I ate too much face. I think I don't have that face. You do have that face. <laughs> I don't have that face. It's a cute face, just joking. Fix it with magic. Oh my god, what kind of choice is that? And I can't save. This is a love choice. Oh, yeah. It's a cute face, or fix it with magic, or just joking. Fuck it. It's a cute face. Oh, don't worry. It's not an unpleasant face. Oh, uh, yeah. That's good to hear. Ha. <laughs> Look who loves us now. He loves us, 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 Alright, let's go back to camp. It was already getting dark once the group reached the road to the camp. But Ida was feeling rather annoyed. Something didn't feel right. Call it the noble blood in her reign, or her highly developed sense of danger over the years of hiding. It was... Getting cold, it was getting cold and silent, more than it should have been. Wait, something is not right, I feel... No! No! Death. Don't die, people! I've just met you! Not the father! What? No! Father! Sky, wait! Fuck! 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 Shit! Why? Who would do this?
if I I don't know, Sky. Please, Ida, I, I want to be alone for a while. I can't. Sky, your mother's journals are gone. How would everyone, anyone want my mother's journal? Someone else is looking for the old kingdom too? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Nobody knew about the journal except us. Ada, I'm so sorry. His father, is he? Yeah. Sander and I moved the bodies away from the camp for now. Before. I am not familiar with human customs. Yeah, I think Sky should decide what to do with them. I am not exactly human. Ida, can I talk to you? I think I might know who was who's behind this. Who? Well, I'm not sure, but the way they were killed, with one single arrow through the head, it looks like the eagles. Eagles? I suppose it's not the correct bird kind. They were the gang behind the annihilation of the Night Order, around the time Yo King died. Dividing them into groups one day with an anonymous tips about certain illegal deal going through and blah, words. Nobody expected the gang to at attack the knights so openly, but they were organized. They weren't just brute mercenaries. They were professional archers. They, they weren't a big deal before uh, the attack. Now that the order is gone, they are pr practically what running not how do you know all of this? Tilly and I had a small running with them a few years back. It wasn't pretty. This is bad. Why would the eagles be here? Sky's mother's journals are missing. They contained information about the entrance to the old kingdom. Either these people are really dangerous and bad. They can't have that information. They can never find the old kingdom. Why would they be looking for it? In the old kingdom, they practiced necromancy. A few years ago, they found us for what they called a magical research. Turns out, turns out, research was about necromancy itself. When we understood what it was about, he ran. I guess she didn't like running away. No, they didn't care about us actually. But Tilly here looked, took all of their resources and collected information with her, and that they cared about. I couldn't let those people have that kind of power. Uh, you didn't mind having having the extra resources for your alchemy, though? You're becoming awfully chatty, Slander. So what do we do? How do we get the, the journals back? We need a good plan. These people are not random facts. I... I don't... We have to get those journals back. You're going to be such a burden, Sky. I know your father just died, but... Jeez! And where the fuck did that blue elf go if he's dead? I don't want to play anymore! I was totally going for him! Sky, we can't let those monsters do any use anything my mother owned. I promise, Sky, I won't let them use those journals. Tilly, Sander, you must know their weakness. You work with them. They don't exactly have a weakness, but there's one thing. Their leader recently changed to a man named Diego. We knew him. He's ruthless and smart. However, he's a big show-off. The Eagles won't trust him, so he will probably want to recruit new members. That could be the key to the front door. My key? Well, they already know about us, unless you want Sky to go instead. I can go. No, you would end up stabbing the guy in his sleep or something. Okay, so... Get recruited, go in, take the journals, run away. There is a small problem, however. You know the whole half noble thing, so we have to attract unnecessary un attention in a city like Northcliffe, nonetheless. Uh, the city will have tailors. Go buy a cape. Alright. I have to end the episode here. Shit! Where the fuck? Ah, damn it!